I'm Mornay Christo. And I'm Dr. Franz Cronier. And you're watching The Dan Show, your healthy dose of dive safety tips and more. a very special guest today. Uh, his name's Louis Engelbrecht and um, his story is quite special. He uh, got in touch with us about a year ago after reading an article that Dr. Cronier wrote in the Alert Diver about occupational health and safety and he said no there needs to be something a little bit more that Dan can offer and through his endeavors the Dan Legal Network, one brief, the Dan Legal Net uh, was born. This is Louis. Hi, I'm Louis Engelbrecht. Thank you very much. So, Louis, in a nutshell, what's this whole legal network about and how can DAN members, or I guess divers, use it? As you said, about 18 months ago, I read this article in Alert Diver and, and I saw some sort of a gap yeah. in the DAN environment. And I duly contacted you, and the rest is basic history. But um, as and I listened with keen ears to what Dr. Franz just said about the, the fantastic studies and the research and the way Dan is assisting divers, which mm. by the way I'm too, okay. um, diving for many years, but be that as it may, the legal network then uh, started getting life. And the idea is basically that for the same type of advice, research and support that you would give to a Dan medical inquiry, you would actually give to a Dan legal inquiry. We're on the hotline. We started last year in November, okay. um, and we're also doing articles in the Alert Diver. Yeah. And obviously, we're doing continuous research now. As with the medical um, environment, also the legal environment is very dynamic. Mm. It changes all the time. A couple of incidents in the last uh, year or so where uh, the, the, the diving environment has actually reached our law reports. Now, our law reports basically is uh, something which develops law by the interpretation of judges. So that's where we're going and, and okay. it's going good. Well, all the more reason to have you on board uh, as part of the Dan team. But let me just get this straight. So we got this new service, Dan Legal Net, and like, you know, guys are going to say, what's this all about? Mm -hmm. Now, we, we know Dan are the insurance for some of the guns. We now know we've cleared that up. But it's mainly a medical organization. So why the need for this whole legal net, I guess. And, and besides that, is it just now for Dan members or, you know, can any diver call as they can via the Dan medical hotline as such? Well, obviously, if a diver calls via the Dan hotline, mm -hmm. he will be brought into contact with, hopefully at the later point in time, a, a dive legal officer, as you have a dive medical officer currently, to provide the same type of service. Okay. Interesting point that you're making, you know, uh, when we go diving, we are almost on holiday. So yeah. we go en route, we get to the dive resort, um, we, we, we enjoy ourselves and then we go diving the next day. We don't think of all those small implications that can happen en route, at the dive resort, on the boat, whilst diving, whilst from the boat, back home. Mm. Um, there are various legal implications, things that can go wrong. And what Dr. Franz said is, we are basically there to mitigate those circumstances. Okay, so I mean it can be anything from just asking advice to actually being in a little bit of a jam and now uh, being pointed in the right direction. Yes. Is, is that kind of what it's all about? Something similar to take a discipline and phone me tomorrow morning. What we <laughs> see, okay. <laughs> what, we, what we hope to do and what the, uh, the intention at this point in time is, if you're on the spot, now visualize this. You're involved in a motor vehicle accident yeah. um, and there's the, the, the ambulances and the next moment a policeman comes to you and he says to you, but I want to take down your affidavit, what happened here? Please phone the damn hotline. All right. And why would that be important? Because we're on the spot, we're giving you a 24 seven service mm -hmm. and we will basically give you that disparate to say to you, well, you know, do not do this, do not do that. Don't say this, don't say that. And okay. we will give you on the spot advice. And the next morning, if you do phone us and you make contact with us, we'll take it even further. And there might even be a referral letter later. So, what if you would answer the questions? Uh, could there be any implications uh, as opposed to taking the discipline and then waiting till, till the following uh, well, morning? Thank you for that question. Obviously, with any question asked, any reply given, there are implications. What we do say to the members is this is a service we're giving you with our prejudice advice in your best interest. 
So to assist you at the moment where you are, we heard just now that many dive chambers might not be open at or operating at certain points in time. So you are basically vulnerable. You're yeah. exposed. And that is, I think, the whole idea behind the whole scene of the legal net is to assist you and get you that backup to know that you're covered. Yes. It's so analogous, Louis, to the uh, telemedicine comparison where you cannot practice medicine to the extent of prescribing treatment, diagnosing over the phone, but you can learn a lot from what a person tells you yes. over the phone and you can give them guidance on what might happen, what to consider, what to avoid, and how to just bring them into alignment with what the medical system has to offer in our case so that they would really have the best chance of a good experience, a good recovery or rapid recovery. And it's so analogous to what you've yes. described, yes. so that we give them the advice but without compromising them or ourselves within the framework of conversation media. That is so applicable because I must tell you in my experience as an attorney, 90% of the legal problems and inquiries that I'm faced with are sorted on the phone. Mm -hmm. So there you have it guys, the legal net is active, make use of it. But before we say uh, a few more things, uh, Dr. Franz, you started there in Southern Africa. How do you feel about this new addition uh, to, the, to the hotline service and I think the dance service as a whole? Uh, I mean, personally, I'm quite proud of it and I think it can benefit our members, but you were there from the start. Uh, what are your thoughts? I'm delighted. I'm okay. delighted that, uh, that it's come about. It's always been necessary. Uh, Louis and I were talking before and, and just uh, saying how medicine and the legal profession have always been in sort of a loggerheads. And I remember the quip between the doctor and the lawyer saying uh, to the lawyer, the doctor that is, that you don't exactly make angels of men, whereupon the lawyer, with the gift of the gab, immediately said, no, the doctors have the upper hand there. <laughs> but uh, in America, I think we've really seen the worst of uh, the, the clash that has come between medicine and the legal profession to the point where much in medicine is practiced defensively from a legal perspective. Um, although there are certain concerns that our country is moving there, the underlying principles of medicine of not to harm and the underlying principles of the legal system to assure justice are good. And what we would like to champion is the best of both of those. Just to add to that, that is so ancillary because in America, the tort liability is large. Mm -hmm. The medical liability is extremely large. We are somewhat covered in this country that is not that large. But that's why we're doing this stuff yeah, to be preemptive, yeah. to, to capacitate you with information yeah. and knowledge so that once again you are Now if I have to bring these two uh, topics together, is uh, a program we're running and we introduced it a few years ago but we've added to that and uh, I think it shows the dynamic side of Dan and that's the Diving Safety Partner Program. We're really trying to teach people to look or you know, find things that might have a, a pro or cause a problem and uh, deal with them before they happen at the end of the day. And that's really what the Diving Safety Partner Program is about. It's mainly focused at uh, dive resorts, charter boat companies, or a dive business as such. But the guys that really want to take it further, we've got the Hazard Identification Risk Assessment Program as well. And all these things kind of tie back into whether it's the medical side, the legal side, the safety side. At the end of the day, it's all about what Dan wants to do for the diving community. Any parting thoughts from you, Dr. Franz? Dan is all about information, responsibility, and equipping you with what you need to do what you love doing, which is diving, and to do it well and safely. So, thank you for that. Yeah, and Louis, from your side, anything you'd like to add as a... Dan promotes diving safety. Yeah. In all aspects, in all respects, and the legal net is certainly an integral part there. Thank you. Who are you? I'm Dr. Franz Cronier. And you? I'm Louis Elbert. I'm Mornay, and you watch The Dan Show. Until next time.